greetings to all is yes, in the last class we were discussed on the concepts of newton's second law of motion right so there we have studied the derivation for a physical to mu right that is newton's second law of motion and also we have studied about impulsive force right so apart from impulsive force uh, we have derived the newton's first law of motion by using the newton's second law of motion right so in this session uh, we will deal with some numerical numericals based on the newton's second law of motion yeah and here is a numerical uh, which is in your textbook a constant force acts on an object of mass 5 kg for a duration of 2 second right so in this first uh, in the first line uh, they have uh, they have given that so there is a constant force is acting isn't it it's not a variable force it is a constant force is acting on an object and that object which has the mass 5 kg right 5 kg and this force which is acting for the duration of 2 second okay for 2 seconds the force is acting on the uh, mass of the 5 kg object right and it increases the object's velocity from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second right uh, we know that the effect of it is one of the effect of the force isn't it so whenever the external force acting on an object that changes its speed isn't it so that is one of the effect of the force so as a result here as also uh, this object which is moving with the initial velocity of 3 meter per second and when the applied force a constant force is applied on the particular object then it has been changed its velocity mean initial velocity to final velocity that is 7 meter per second okay and now we need to find out find the magnitude of the applied force so here we need to find out the applied force magnitude of the applied force if we need to find out and the question will continues like now if the force was applied for a duration of 5 second so still uh, we continue with the problem with now the force which is acting on the object that will continues for the still more 5 seconds okay for a duration of 5 second then what would be the final velocity of the object isn't it so here we have two problems isn't it in this entire example we have two problems so one is we need to find out the applied force when it is acting at an object of mass 5 kg in 2 second right and in the next in the next question or in the second question we need to find out the final velocity of the object so whatever the so much of force which is found out here right so there we need to find out the what would be the final velocity right this is we need to find out okay so let us find out how it is so let us write the given data from the given problem right so given data i can write the initial velocity uh, first thing the mass of the object is given that is 5 kg right so let me write mass of the object which is given by 5 kg right and then next they have given the initial velocity that is 3 meter per second so usually initial velocity can be denoted by u right small u that is 3 meter per second okay and final velocity which is also given there that can be denoted by v that is equals to uh, it's 7 meter per second okay so he, this is what given in the first uh, question right and also they have given time right so i can write time t is equals to that is 2 second okay so this is what the data <clears throat> now so for the for this given problem so we need to find out f value isn't it so f we need to find out uh, so let me write f that is nothing but a force we need to find out what we need to find out Now, to find out the force we have the formula that is f is equals to right f is equals to m into a right 
so f is equals to m into a is the formula to find out the force right here in place of a we have the parameters like we already know that acceleration can be written as acceleration can be written as uh, a is equals to let me write here a is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by whole divided by time is that it so that is the formula to find out the acceleration so here they have not exactly given the value of a so instead of that they have given the parameters like final velocity initial velocity as well as the time so by using this i can write the formula so that is f is equals to again f is equals to f is equals to mass as usual i can write so into final value in place of a i can write v minus of u right whole divided by whole divided by i can write time t okay so this is the formula so